welcome to the studio at African Utility Week and Power Gen Africa. Today I'm speaking with Sandra McArdle on the topic of women in power. Welcome Sandra. Welcome, thank you. Um, so, can you tell us a bit about uh, Canada's involvement in African Utility Week this year? Sure. So, uh, this is the first time that Canada has had a full pavilion at Africa Utility Week. Uh, we previously had companies represented here, but now we have a dozen that have joined our pavilion and a few others as well. Uh, I think that what we are really trying to do is to support our companies in looking more closely at opportunities in Africa, but also to look more closely specifically at clean technology. Canada has been a real leader on climate change. We were uh, very much committed to the Paris Climate Agreement. Uh, and we see the greater use of clean technology on this continent as a way of achieving those objectives. And Canada is sponsoring the Women in Power Lunch this year. What is Canada's um, connection to supporting women in the utility space? So, delighted to answer that question. Uh, Canada has adopted a feminist foreign policy. Uh, we have a policy across all of our international engagement to really look at the position of women and how we can enhance the, uh, how we can empower, how we can increase the voice and the rights of what is actually slightly more than half the world's population. Uh, what we have found is that there are some sectors where either women aren't fully represented in the industry and we look to try and encourage that in non-traditional sectors, uh, but also with something like power. You know, we have a commitment many nations do to increasing the access to power, but we need to look at that. How can women access that power? What does it mean for them? And that's about women's roles in families, in their communities, and in business. So today we're going to be hosting a lunch, Women in Power, and with that we've got three great women leaders in the sector who are going to tell us a little bit about uh, the sector uh, and how they've succeeded in it. So now that we've focused um, on the utility space, are there any other trading activities in which Canada takes a similar approach in terms of supporting women? We do across the board. So we are, for example, very active in mining, which is a sector we share with South Africa. Uh, and we have been working on supporting women's engagement in the mining sector in Canada and abroad. Uh, we certainly uh, try with uh, our own programs. We have one that's called Business Women in Trade. Uh, and in that program, we actually provide tools, training, financial support to companies which are women-owned, 51% or more women-owned, to expand internationally. So those who are export ready or already exporting, we encourage them to develop further and we try by that way to support women in, in business and women in trade. Sandra, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> and thank you. Uh, please do subscribe to our channel now for more industry-related content.